shortest poem in the world came from Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, and his the poem is Ni We. So there's me and then there's we. So we're here together as a, a group of people sharing our thoughts and feelings about death. Death is a body. Death is a body of our parents, our grandparents, our children, our friends. And uh, so what you got to say, Tomas? Eddie, I don't know how long I've known you. Were you around when I was leading, leading a couple of seminars? I never saw you lead. I, I don't think so. But I think I knew you back then. And uh, as the years progressed, somehow you slid into my life. Somehow, I don't know how it was. And we went oh, to- sneaking. Huh? Oh, sneaking in. Yeah, yeah. You <clears throat> and, and we went to Whole Foods about every six weeks or so. Yeah. And uh, it was me listening to you give me the benefit of your infinite wisdom. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, we're just getting fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I appreciate you were always there and you always had something to, to say about whatever I had to say. And it was, it was sort of a subtle coaching, although I never asked for it, unless I did. But everything you said always fit with what I, it was a, a real response, an intelligent response to what I was up against, if I was up against something. And, and if it wasn't up against something, it was just you sharing what you see from what I had just said, which was always delicious. And um, I don't know. The, that you just wanted to hang out with me was always an honor for me. And you'd call up and say, hey, want to get together? How about now? <laughs> it was always now. It was never, let's get together next week. It was like, are you free now? Let's do it now. Which I always appreciated about you was that life was urgent and it was here. It was it was not, not to be messed around with, it was to go now, be here now. Um, you know, I had already called six people that morning and all of them <laughs> said no, but you said yes, so I want to acknowledge you for your willingness to participate. <laughs> so, I was number seven. Okay, thanks. So. <laughs> Oh, that changes my whole story. Let me go back up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, it was always delightful. And I've, over the years, just grown to love you as like one of my few people I call a friend, a true friend, someone who listens and, and responds intelligently and has something of uh, value to contribute. And you've always been that way, even in seminars. Sometimes you'd raise your hand, Scott would call on you, and you'd say something, and I'd have to sit there and say, what's he talking about? But then, you know, it fit. It fit once you finished, because you'd always bring it out in the end. And it was, it was great being in seminars with you and having you be acknowledged by Scott as one of those unique human beings who has registered a whole boatload of people into the landmark forum. And it was just a, a tribute to you and how much you um, care about people and want people to have a taste of transformation. The other thing is I got from you is an appreciation for women, 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 woman, women, woman. Cunt. Cunt, pussy. All right. The whole, the whole thing. And I, I, you know, I learned a lot from you. I learned a lot from the book you, this book I read that you said, go get it called She Comes First. Yes. She Comes oh, First. Oh, yeah. She Comes First. I become a, uh, uh, I used that book. I used that book. And I always made sure she comes first. <laughs> it's a, men should know that. You take care of the woman first. Plus, there's all this stuff that we've done to women over the years that I uh, learned to appreciate from having listened to you. So 
overall, I don't want to take too much time. I just love you. And I appreciate the fact that I've had you in my life during this lifetime. Thank you. I want to say one thing about black people. Mary and I watched the Eyes on the Prize for six hours last week about Mississippi and Alabama in 1964, 65, 70. And I cried all the way through it because of you. I thought about your being there. Your ancestors were there. And I just it was very, very sad because I know Thomas so well that it broke my heart to see white people treating black people like that. And thank you for allowing me to see more clearly something that's horrible that I wasn't very aware of. Okay? You're welcome. Thank you.